let's get the bad out of the way before we get to the good. You've been very clear with your disdain for the IBGGF in the past, whether it's in person or even on this podcast. Why is that? Uh, I don't necessarily like the rules as they are set uh, because of now how athletes play to those rules. So I'm not a big fan of the, of the rule set in, in some ways where, you know, I don't like the 10 minute black belt matches. I don't like the stalling that happens. I don't like the taking advantage of like, Oh, I'm just going to hang on for five minutes and then come up and get an advantage. And I win the medal. You know, I think Jiu Jitsu should be, you know, he should be trying to chase the submission or at least try to score big points. So I don't like advantages as they are set in the IBJJF rule set. I don't like the fact that they don't move the world championships around the world. Oh, it's that's a good always, point. It's always in California, mm-hmm. which limits a lot of people from going over because not everybody can get visas to go to the U.S. So um, it doesn't give equal opportunity to all the best athletes. I don't like that there's no qualifiers that anybody can register. I mean, in black belt now, you, you have to get a certain amount of points to qualify, which is great. They just started that recently. But before you register, you go, you fight. I don't... Um, it's really weird because how do you consider someone a, a world champion when you look at the bracket when it's put out in most of the black belt brackets and it's, you know, 80% Brazil and then the rest is the U.S. And luckily you have one guy from somewhere around the world in there. So you have at the most four or five countries represented. You win and you consider yourself a world champion. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. Now, this is not by any means discrediting the talent and, you know, the, 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 the best people in Jiu-Jitsu in the world are competing in the IBJJF. Okay? Let me make this clear. But is it a true world championships in the sense when you compare it to judo, when you compare it to wrestling, right, or any other combat sport that has a world championship? Right, you look at their world championships. There's national qualifiers, like per, like for example, provincial qualifier, national qualifier. The national qualifier represents the national team. The national team goes to the world championships. Right. So you have multiple countries represented. You're only a, you know. So this is where I'm like, okay, great. It's it's the highest pinnacle of our sport is the IBJJF talent-wise, athlete-wise, and all that. But is it a true world championship? To me, I look at it as a team's championship. It's a team's world championship because, you know, it doesn't matter which country you're from. That doesn't matter in the IBJJF. It matters which patch you wear on your back, right? So it's a team's world championship. It's not a, a, a flag country world championship. Right, so that's that's how I see it, so, which is that's, okay because they have team trophies, and I I like that too. I like the idea of the team thing. I think it's great. Uh, it just creates good rivalries. It creates good competition. But um, is it a true, true, true world championship? Eh, I don't know. I guess it's up for debate. I think you actually just touched on that's that's a huge point you touched on that I never really heard. Um, it's a visibility issue. It's not just the um... Like the main criticism is like, oh, it's the evil corporation of not actually. Uh, well, for profit, uh, it's for profit. It's a for-profit yeah. organization, so it will never go to the Olympics to the IBJJF. They they clearly, you know. Yes, it's about the money. They want to make money. They don't really, but you know, every year they improve and they do things better. Like they started paying fire, you know. Um, they started paying money to some championships, to some, you know, to people that win. And, you know, it's not a lot of money, but it's some. So there's some money being given. 
to to some of the events that they run. Okay, that's that's a good thing. Um, but and they run such big events. And keep in mind, like to run an event that large costs money when you're renting these massive venues and and stuff like that. So it's not like uh, and they have to pay all the referees and all this other stuff. But uh, there's definitely some things in there that are you know unfair to say the least they can judge who they want to give certification to or not uh, mm -hmm. we all know that there's been some issues with the pjj globe travelers mm -hmm. and uh you know there's there's some hierarchy issues here that's deeply ingrained in in the ibjjf culture and brazilian jiu-jitsu culture so there's definitely oh, I... some some things that are makes people uncomfortable right I don't, what do you what, can you elaborate on that i'm not sure what you're touching on there in terms of like a hierarchy issues within the specifically the ibjjf oh you know because uh you know, every, like for example a lot of the people what people don't like i get it because they're trying to control who gets black belts and stuff like that but you know if you want to get into the ibjjf say you're say you're uh you're a purple belt right yes I am. and you break ties with your former professor Yes. Okay. And you want to compete for the IBJJF and you want to register your academy. You can't. Right? Right. right, right. You need to be under... Um, a governed body. Some sort you of, need to be some, under a team. Yeah. You need yeah. to be under a team and you need to have someone that will sign your paperwork and and, and so on and so on. Like myself, for example, like if you're, if you want to be a, you can only get a black belt if you are if a third degree or higher signs your paperwork. So you can't even register under the IBJJF as a black belt unless someone of that rank signs for you or under a team. So they have a structure, a hierarchy structure that makes some people, um, you know, uncomfortable. 